What's going on, yo? Got to make some, making some air to fade. Got to make this roof first. This is the longest process of making etouffee. The longest process of making etouffee is the making the roux. Really? Well, yeah, because, yeah, making the roux. This is the longest part. Longest part. How y'all doing today? Happy Thursday. Let me see if y'all see my face. Hi. <laughs> How y'all doing? I'm getting right to it because y'all know what time it is. Look what time it is. Look what time it is. Look what time it is. Look, 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 look. Time some shift to get out this dough. <laughs> so. So I gotta hurry up and cook. <laughs> of course, I've been running all day. Y'all know I'm busy. I got a lot of things going on. <laughs> but of course, y'all know I do not want to be eating no French fries, no chicken wings all day long. That's not gonna happen. A more flour. So I put two sticks of unsalted butter in here, and that's approximately about a cup of flour. It could be self-rising. It could be all-purpose, either or. Just put some flour in here, and we're gonna cook this to a turn chocolate. You don't want to burn it, so I got a, I got the heat, I got my heat, and um in between it's is um a medium medium high heat, medium high heat is what it's on. Um, I already got my rice made. I know y'all probably you gonna eat it with rice? Yes, I already have my rice made. I got some jasmine rice back here. I already made that. Cause you just all you want to do is let the rice steam. Of course, I, what I do is um I don't measure y'all. I don't. I have not measured rice ever since, ever since I start cooking it. I never measured. I measured. I never measured rice. But I do know that it is two to one. Two cups of water for every cup of rice. And it depends what type of grain rice you're using. That is ja jasmine rice. And I do want it to be sticky. So no, I did not rinse it off. Um, if you want your jasmine rice not to be sticky, you need to rinse it off at least four times or until the water run clear. Or five times until the water run clear. Either or. Um, to get the starch off, that's what make the rice sticky. But I want a sticky rice with this. So if you don't want sticky rice, when you're making jasmine rice, you have basmati rice, you have um, long grain rice, you got short grain rice, you got parboiled rice. Parboiled rice, you don't have to rinse at all. Parboiled rice is, is one of the best rice. You don't have to rinse that at all. It's, it's, it's the rice that's made for people that, um, if you have a hard time making rice, just buy parboiled. Go to Uncle Ben's. He'll take care of you. Uncle Ben's will take care of you. All right. Don't get my hat, man. My hat, man, ain't gonna do you right. Cause that's that, that's that long grain rice, and it take a special person or take a person that know how to cook rice to get that rice right. All right, because it won't be right. All right. <laughs> so this is the longest part. Like, so we starting off from a blonde roux. This is a blonde roux. Like from here, like I told you guys, I could go from from I could, I could, right now. I can make a bechamel, but if I keep on letting it continuously cook, I'm gonna get a darker roux. And that's what we're looking for, but we gotta let it cook. We have to let it cook and we're not, without letting it burn. So like I said, I have two sticks of unsalted butter in here and a cup of uh, self-rising flour, or if you use all-purpose flour, either one, or see, uh, either one, it doesn't matter. All right, the ingredients, while we let this cook, cause I'll be gonna sit here just like, wait, while you're on watching paint dry, I'll have to come back, it may be a little bit browner than it's supposed to be. Um, I got my shrimp, I've been working. I was cutting up stuff while I was, um, um, Preparing stuff before I get my rice cooked and everything. That way I don't take too long. Uh oh, you going down. Hold on a second. Okay, got my shrimp. I got my parsley. I got my garlic. You need some scallions as well. You need scallions. You need scallions for later. Don't put these in yet. And your garlic. Your garlic and your scallions. Your scallions go in the same time you add the shrimp. Don't put your, um, your, um, your holy trinity in. So I have my holy trinity. I have some celery, bell peppers, red and green. And my celery is at the bottom. And of course, some onion, so you need the Holy Trinity to make a Cajun meal. Any Cajun meal you make, anything come from New Orleans, any Cajun meal, you need that there, baby. You need to put that 404 down there. You know what I say there, Chef? You gotta put that stuff down from that, from that crawfish water, okay? <laughs> so I got some crawfish as well. Um, I did not make my own stock, but you can substitute, because I'm in a pinch, and normally I will do, I will make my own stock when I make my etouffee, or you wanna make my gumbo. If you don't have the stock to make it, okay, if you don't have it, um, you can use some clam juice and also can use the, um, the, the seafood bouillon that I showed you guys too as well, or get the shrimp, the shrimp cubes, you can use that too as well, all right? So that's the ingredients and stuff. Also, so, um, thyme, T-H-Y-M-E, 
those in there as well as the herb. And I was supposed to use some celery seeds, so I, but I didn't have no celery seed, and I was not trying to go fight and go find them and find them because I thought I had some here. Um, so I was not going back to the store because y'all running around, but I, you do need a little celery seed to add to it as well. But most of your seafood seasonings have celery seed in it. And what I did, I just cut up some more celery. That's it. I just added a little more celery to it. Just gotta let that cook. This, this is the longest process. Other than chopping your stuff up, this is the longest process. Hey, Grandma Jones. <laughs> Where you been at, Grandma? I ain't seen you in here. Unless it's my first time catching you um, as I look back. Hey, Michelle. What's going on, Shell? Uh, sugar Hips for Life. Thank you for sharing Sugar Hips. Tanetta Wright. What's going on, Tanetta? Jim Brown. What's going on, Unc? Nicole Jackson is watching. I see you watching with your looking self. How y'all doing today? Happy Thursday. And I, of course, I want to rush this process. I do want to rush it. I, I am in a little, a little bind, but you can't rush this. This is, this is the key element to your etouffee, or it's a key element also to your gumbo. You must let your roux cook. Let it cook. It's going to do it anyway. And once it starts to turn brown, it'll go fast. Like, see it starting to change its color right now? It's going from blonde to a dirty blonde. Because the blondes like to have fun, but the dirt, sometimes when you put dirt on, they look even better. <laughs> ah. <laughs> um, Barbara Rivers. Hey, Barbara. Stephanie Anderson says, watch. I see you. Watch what you look at yourself. Uh, Des Delisa Doris. So what you said? Said so you cannot rush New Orleans food, or else it would turn out to be a shabby. <laughs> you got that right. You got to put some love in it gradually, right? You can't rush it. You can't rush it. I know that much. I know it. I'm telling. I'm teaching them right. You can't. You can't really just let it do what it do. Let it do what it do. You got to let it cook. So you gotta let it cook there, Wardy. Um, so you've been staying warm inside. I see you, Grandma. Okay, watching. Okay. <laughs> Now some some etouffees I seen like or see <laughs> that that ruby that color right here and that ain't right that ain't right all right it ain't right all right it gotta be a, it gotta be cooked to shell. Thanks, she going out the door. Huh? You going out the door? Huh? You heard me? No. Um, I would say um, tell them to turn the fries off for me. Huh? All right. Yeah, but don't, like I said, so like I was saying, I seen it, it too light. It, it was too light skin, too light skin. It got if it only like it need to look like chocolate. It need like chocolate milk, not skim milk, chocolate. Uh, D Jackson, good evening. Mimi Coleman is watch. I see you watch what you look so. Crystal Crystal is watch. I see you watch what you look so. Edward Martin, I say teach ya. <laughs> Uh, Sherry, uh, Gregory said, good evening. Good evening to you as well. Um, uh, Mona Spanwater. What's going on, Mona? What's happening? Geraldine Pittman. Hello. Uh, Mary C. Hampton. Hello. Thank you for sharing. Turn it down some more. Because now, now, the, the process of it, um, is you, you should turn it down some more because it go real fast and you do not want this to burn. At this step, I do see a lot of people like to see it's almost almost as chocolate milk. It's not, it's not as chocolate as I want it. There's a technique to it. Don't sweat the techniques. It's called time. Slow. A rule 
like to have to take his time with take his time with Rue. Yeah, so he can build his flavors. I need to turn it back up. Um, all right, so I get my bubble back on. I to turn it back up. If y'all see me back here, I'm sitting there turning it down, back and forth, back and forth, turn back and forth. Because <laughs> you have to. But when I tell y'all, this is the flavor, if you guys want to know the flavor of, of Etouffee, it's like the, uh, the, because the butter in it, it give off the silky, smooth taste. It's like, ooh, <laughs> seafood butter gravy. I don't know, brown butter seafood gravy. Baby, it's good. Mm-hmm. And by this time right now, you should start smelling like this um this this aroma of like um roasted peanuts or toasted peanuts or toasted almonds, whatever you want to say. This is that's a smell that you should smell. You know that you know that smell when you walk through the mall and they had them the um the peanuts roasting inside of the place and you smell them or them almonds with that little toffee smell. That's what it smell like. That's the smell you want to start smelling. Yes, Lord. Sherry Davis. Oh, uh, Cheryl Davis is watch. I see you watch what you look at so. Gotta back it up. Microwaves. <laughs> and, mm. then, and it hit the thing. It did it one time. I said, oh shoot. <laughs> it it blocked it for some reason. Grandma Jones said, how they doing? Uh, are they done? Are there John Johns? Say hello, hello. Say hello to John too as well. Sandy Rudd is watching. I see you watching with you yourself. I'm an executive chef. Um, okay, um, Delisa Doris says she's an executive chef. Michelle, please say, Michelle said, please share, y'all. <laughs> Kendra Jones was having Kendra Sugar Nikki uh, uh, Sawyer is watching. Let's turn it down a little bit more. We'll turn it down some. Almost there. I told you this guy, I told you guys this is the longest part. You just gotta be be just be patient with it. It's gonna it's gonna get there. It's gonna get there. Just be patient with it. Uh, Mary C. Hampton, thank you for sharing. Uh, Crystal Love. Hello. Gail Moore. Hey Gail. Elizabeth um, Duffy is watching. I see you watch with what you look at. Cynthia Fuller. Good evening. Jacqueline on um, Tompkins I say Chef Anthony, you are the best. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Oh, uh, say uh oh, somebody who in here fussing? Is Delisa Delisa Doris who here fussing with? Who fussing? I see. I'm from New Orleans. I'm just trying to help talking, huh? Say why I'm talking. I'm just trying to tell you, trying to help you out. Okay. All right, y'all. Y'all be in there fussing. Don't be in there fussing. All right, class. Don't be fussy now. Don't y'all be in here fussing. Y'all be nice. We play fair over here. We don't get down with the dirty, dirty. We can, we, we can cook dirty, dirty, but we don't get down with the dirty, dirty. We, don't be, we, 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 we have love and love and everything going over here. You know, we coming over here having no fussing and fighting now. And put you in, put you in time out. Thank you for sharing, Mona. There we go. You just have to let it just ride on out. Uh, Kenlick Row has watched. I see you watch what you look at. So, yeah, I know I want to darken the peanut butter. I said, smell like peanut butter, door, the, the, uh, the Lisa. Smell, smell like peanut, not look like peanut butter. You want it darker than that. I said, chocolate milk. 
Crystal Love cooking with love. Yes, yes, indeed. All day long. Um, Bina Bay said no sound. Well, I guess it came back. Maybe on your end it was. Danella Michelle Carter. Hello. So your husband from New Orleans, he been looking for he been looking for this. You been looking for for, for, for this? <laughs> I, I, I got you. And let me tell you, like I always say this, I said, and I, I, this, this com comes with love. You know I mean, I'm not going to sit there and go back and forth with nobody, whatever, this, this, and third. But, um, I don't, but people from New Orleans, like, I don't know why they think nobody can't cook other than the people from New Orleans. And if there's going to be another person from New Orleans, and they can say they cook better than that person. So it's just, you know what I mean? As long as, like, I, I feel if, if you have the steps right and you have the ingredients right, you can't tell nobody how to cook their food now. Can't tell nobody I cook your food. Every time I do something, and I know what my food tastes like. I, and I, anybody else can test. I know what my food tastes like. You ain't got to be fussing and fighting stuff, because uh, guess what? Until you taste my food, and I have people from New Orleans have my food for, and they like, dang. I never done it that way, the third stuff, but dang, your food good. Matter of fact, my niece. Uh, mom is from New Orleans, and her mom's a, a big time chef. Y'all probably know who she is. I forget her name. I don't know, I forgot her name, but can know her name. Can know her name. Um, she's a she's a famous chef down there. Her mom was a famous chef. And I cooked for her and everything. I made the gumbo. And this, that third, and she's like, dang. Said, said, you don't have what she told me is I don't have all the seasonings that her mom used that's from New Orleans. Said, but other than that, you got it down packed is good. So y'all gotta let people cook their food now in New Orleans. We love y'all. But y'all be y'all be doing some the most sometimes. I do love my New Orleans. <laughs> I just, I just have to like, I have to express myself and say that because like, it's always a debacle or a big, huge ah. So I'm gonna debt that and let, and then say what I'm gonna say and just let it ride. All right. Uh. Michelle Harris, hello. Latanya Cox, Latoya, Latanya Cox, hello. Um, Theo Sloan is watching. I see you watching to look at Zell. I know y'all like this. This process, like I told you, it's like watching paint dry. You just gotta let it cook, though. It's like watching paint dry. All right, I think I got my color that I want. Now from this, you can make you can make a nice gravy. From this you can make a nice gravy. Like you can add your onions and stuff to it. And this you get a grandma gravy from this too as well. Alright, got my holy trinity. I'm gonna really add to this. Bell pepper, celery, onions, red and green peppers. You go you just use red, it don't matter. Get some bell peppers in there. Celery, onions. Chocolate. Chocolate. Okay. You want to saute your vegetables till they get softer. I'll turn your heat down. Okay, that's that's a good that's a good room. That's a pretty room. Nice dark chocolate.
Oh, yeah, I heard a storm real bad. No, no, my mom just told me, um, Mama Jones. My mama just told me she said storm real bad up there in Atlanta. It's real bad. Y'all be careful. I, I know the last storm you had, that, that tree fell on your house. So you be careful around there. I know you stay in an older neighborhood. So, um, yeah, be careful. Watch out. Tamika Richards is watching. I see Richardson. I, I see you watch what you look as though. Uh, Lorraine McCall is watching. I see you watch what you look as though. Dawn Cook is watching. I see you watch what you look as though. Vicky Spencer. Hey, Vicky. Um, Mary Seeger said, looks amazing. Thank you. And I'm going to finish it. Yeah, wait till you get finished. And this gun, actually, like don't take long. Well, it's too safe. Uh, that's, the, that's the longest part. That and chopping stuff up. <laughs> you don't feel like you've been chopping forever. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go in with some. I'm going to add one pack of my own. Um, like I said, normally I will make my own, what you call it, but that's the only thing I'm pressed for time for. Like Other than that, you don't rush this. You can, you can always use another stock. But um, normally I will make my own shrimp stock. With the shells, but I didn't even have I didn't even have shells on these um, shrimp because I wanted to go real fast <laughs> without having to make my stock. So I'm just gonna make a stock from this um from this cubes, and also gonna use um some clam juice as well. That's a quick way you can do it. Garlic in. I think you was trying to get into the pot, wasn't you? Turn my head and start going down like Mary J. Blige. I'm not gonna pipe this heat up. So I'm getting ready to add my stock. All this is a gravy. <laughs> Clam juice. Add my thyme, T H Y M E, in here. Gonna go some Creole seasoning. Of course, the closest thing you can get to a New Orleans seasoning that is, I said, or or uh, or or um, New Orleans approved is Tony Saturies. If you can't get the seasoning that comes from New Orleans, use some Tony Saturies. But you need some Creole seasoning in here. Some paprika. Use sweet, don't use the um smoke. Use 
is sweet, not smoked. So you don't want you don't want to put smoked paprika in there. So black pepper. Like I said, I supposed to have some um, celery seed. I ain't got it. I added extra. Um, I added extra um, celery to it, but celery seed is supposed to be put in here. Okay. But if you don't have it, I just cut up some more celery. All right. Um. Uh, dun, 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 dun. I'm going to season this up a little bit more with some onion powder, garlic powder. I'm using two. I'm using, um, Louise, I'm using um, some Cajun seasoning, too. So I use Cajun seasoning and the Tony Saturday's Creole seasoning. Garlic powder. Mmm, it smells good. Some onion powder. Let this cook, let the flavor start developing. I'm also going to add in some parsley. For a little bit, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let me make sure this have enough sodium because you know um, the Tony Saturies and what you call it, yeah, um, it has salt in it. So we just want to make sure. I'm gonna add a little kosher salt. And while it's at the rolling boil, you want to go ahead and add your shrimp, peel it in the vein, clean shrimp. Your crawfish tail is already cooked, so let these turn pink first before you add those in. Or you can just do shrimp etouffee, you can do crawfish etouffee, you don't have to do the both of them, I'm being me. <laughs> and I'm mixing the two. thing you want to add to this you want to add some hot sauce to this too as well you can use tabasco but i prefer to use some crystals get a little crystal hot sauce to it it's not to make it spicy it's to make it flavorful <laughs> oh i missed that one 
That one little tail. I missed it. Come here. Also, if you want to add some 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 more heat to this, you can add a you can add some jalapeno in here if you would like to. Or without adding um, more Tony Saturies to get a little spice to it, because because like I said, watch out for the salt. Um, yeah, add your pepper in there. Just let it cook. All right, shrimp are done. Like we don't want them to overcook. And I'm gonna go ahead and add our clean. The crawfish tails are already clean, so y'all do all the work, all that stuff. And I found these at Sam's. I found them at Sam's. I didn't have to go to the restaurant depot. They already cooked. They're good to go. Now you can get your little fried cornbread. I got some rice. Oh, I got some jasmine rice. I'm gonna serve with some sticky jasmine rice, to be exact. I'm gonna turn this off because I don't want my shrimp to overcook. And there you have a shrimp and crawfish etouffee. Yeah, like that. <laughs> Add in some green onion. I'm add some green onions just for texture. And you also add some to your bowl as well on top in your bowl. I'm gonna add some, some in here for more texture. The little crunch bites of crunch that you get. So add them at the end. And I use the bottoms. I use the tops to put on your bowl. And so I'm using the bottoms to put inside. I got some more parsley. I'm going to use it. Ain't going to hurt nobody. Get on down. Ain't going to hurt nobody. Going to give you more and more. Oh, yeah. Get my butt out this dang on door. <laughs> I'm gonna fix a bowl and up and run, okay? I gotta go. I gotta go, y'all. Let's fix, fix a bowl. Let's go check the rice. Let me get that ice. It's nice and sticky. Nice, sticky rice, jasmine rice. Like I said, I wanted my sticky. Boom, bow, bing. <laughs> Get that rice in there. Sorry.
There you have it. Shrimp etouffee. <laughs> Sticky jazz and rice. <laughs> voila. Okay. I want the yellow. A little visual. And now for the, now for the taste. Taste, taste everything together. And I gotta, I gotta go. I told y'all chef on a run tour. <laughs> oh, Lord. Now you see all the sticky rice. The sticky rice, it holds the sauce. It holds the sauce. Yeah, it, it, it sticks. Everything sticks to it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Boom, there it is. Now, of course, you need. I know now. Of course, y'all know I need some more hot sauce. <laughs> mm. mm -hmm. Dang on lava in my mouth. Excuse me, but it's all right. <laughs> Fine by me. <laughs> mm. I ain't got time. So, yeah. Up, oh, sound funk this up. God dang. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Gotta go. Delicious. <laughs> Delicious, y'all. Deliciousness. Mm, 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 mm. All right, y'all. I'll see you guys later. Um, I will be doing a lot of prep and stuff from the um, kitchen tomorrow. Um, a lot of cooking and stuff. So you guys see me. I'll be from Friday, Saturday, prepping for the brunch and everything, cooking certain things, not everything, starting to cook everything. So it's in prepping. So y'all see me Friday, Saturday. I got a lot of things to do. So you got you guys see me. All right. But um, thank you guys for the stars. Thank you guys for the likes. Thank you guys for the shares. Like I said, we were over here. We have fun. We talk. We, we get. We, do what we need to do so other than argue with each other. We don't do that inside our comments stuff, and which I really don't like. It put a bad energy out into the world. We don't like that, so we don't. Like, we don't want to do that. No, I mean, just if you have a word to say, try to say it in a nice way so that somebody can understand you and make sure how you word your words. Because once you type it, it's already said. All right, so I want you guys to have a blessed day. I love you all. Y'all have a blessed night. Peace. <laughs>